So guys, uh, in the previous video, we have seen how to record on the SAP uh, using the SAP GUI protocol, okay, uh, on the SAP GUI applications. Now in this video, we will see We'll, we'll pay a little bit of attention to see like where are my start transactions, where is my think time, uh, where are the comments inserted in the piece of code and all that. Okay, it's a quick two to three minutes video. I'll not take too much of your time over here. And by the way, for the trainings, you can call that number. So, <clears throat> 801-995-2427. So let's go back to that piece of code that got recorded, okay? So here is my vision. So you see, uh, my um, my recording was recorded into the action called action. Okay. So here is the comments. Okay. So let me go to the plain layout so that I will have a better look at the script. And you see, here is the next comment. So which is pull up the purchase acquisition screen. So this whole piece of code is for the logon. This whole piece of code is for the logon. Okay. The whole piece of code is for the logon. So this is where you started the transaction and if you remember correctly, if you remember correctly, we haven't ended the logon transaction. We haven't ended the logon transaction. So where would you end this logon transaction guys? Where would you end this logon transaction? Just pay a little bit of attention. You see this is the comment for purchase requisition screen which means that this is where the purchase requisition, uh, pulling up the purchase requisition is happening. Okay, so this piece of code is for pulling up the purchase requisition. So which means that this whole piece of code or this all this request right from here all the way till here is for the logging in. Right from here, all the way till here is for the logging in. And in fact, if you pay enough attention, this is the only piece of code for the login. Okay, this is for bringing up the size. You see, you click on login and there is another window open, right? So this is for all of that. This is for opening the window and all that. So actual logging on is happening for this piece of code. So I will just transfer the start transaction over here and then the end transaction over here. For ending the transaction, there are multiple ways. You can right click and you can say insert and you can say end transaction. Okay. And then end the transaction for login. Okay. So typically the think time, you can talk to your NFR team as to what should be the think time. So uh, we can give 10 seconds as a think time. Uh, okay. So this is for the launching of the login. Honestly speaking, this is for the launching of the logon launch pad. Okay, so if you want to add that transaction for logon launchpad, you can do it. For adding the transaction, you can just right click on it and insert and then you can say start transactions or simply control T. If you can see this option, control T, you can simply say control T. Okay, this is for logon launch. Okay, so, so Kumar, uh, you are confusing me. So what is this logon launch? I'm going to show you. Just hang on. Let me end this transaction as well. This is for the complete logon launchpad. So I need to end it. For ending the transaction, again, you say right click, insert. And what is the short key for that? Control shift key. So you can use that control shift key. I'm using that control shift key and this. Okay. So who are you confusing me? What is this logon launchpad? Don't worry. I'm going to show that to you. So, Okay, clicking on this and clicking on the logon, I'm calling this as logon launchpad and entering the username, entering the password and clicking, then clicking on enter, I'm calling that as a logon. Okay, so this clicking on this and clicking on login, I'm saying that logon launchpad. So your this is the launchpad. So your log, this window has been uh, launched. So the, the, the that part of piece of code is this one, honestly. That piece of code is this one. What is this piece of code? What is this piece of code? So you select this and you click on the logon. So whatever that action is, that is the that is this piece of code. I'm calling this as logon launch. And once that is done, once that is done, okay, you're entering the username, you're entering the password, clicking on the login button, clicking on the login button, and that is what this one is. Okay, logging. Okay, so I've created two different transactions for that. Okay, and appropriately there is a think time between that. Wonderful. Okay, so every single action, every single screen navigation, you should honestly have a transaction and that's what I've done. For logon launch, I have one transaction. Logging in, I have one transaction. Uh, pulling up the uh, uh, requisition screen, there should be a transaction as well. Looks like I've missed out. So this whole piece of code, okay, until the header details is done. This whole piece of code let me zoom in zoom out a little bit sorry zoom out a little bit okay so you see
okay so this is what pulling up the requisition screen and wherever you see think time so this is for navigating all the way till that and this is for clicking on the purchase requisition okay you see there is a think time between so this is this piece of code is for navigating to that purchase requisition screen so navigating means let me show that to you again hang on so navigating means clicking on the logistics clicking on the material management clicking on the purchase requisition clicking on the purchase record till here it is a navigation and that is looks like that will be treated as one transaction how do i know it is treated as one transaction because there is a think time that got recorded and once you double click on that then this page will come up and that is for this piece of code which is uh, pulling up the purchase requisition you see you clicked on the purchase requisition so you have to ideally you have to put one transaction for this and then another transaction for this okay so you already know how to insert the transactions so i'm not going to insert it over here or if you really wanted it we can quickly do it okay so you do a control t okay this is for navigating to pr purchase requisition okay where does this end it ends over here control shift t i have already spin okay so navigating to the pr okay so similarly here this is for pr screen you are pulling up the pr screen so let me call this transaction as pr screen and that will end over here wonderful so like this now you have let me zoom in a little bit and this is the header details again you have a think time okay and this is what is expanding the header and uh, this is what you have given and then there is an information that is given in the header okay what is that information this is load runner training from isha solutions for the entire course please call blah 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 okay so like this the whole piece of code has been recorded you can make sense out of it and make sure the think time is 10 seconds wherever you see more than that just go ahead and add the appropriate think time and add the transactions if it's not there okay if it's there while recording it's all fine but if it's not there you have to go ahead and add it okay so this is how you can make you can understand the script and uh, luckily we don't have correlations but we do have parameterizations and other concepts as well so so this is how you can uh, understand the course uh, understand the piece of code guys so in the next video we'll go ahead and play back the script just to make sure if everything is good